Hey everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Nate, and today I wanted to talk about the Killing Gloves unboxing for Heavy, and why I just love this weapon so much. Now first off, we'll just go over the stats a little bit so you can understand what this weapon is, and what kind of things you can do with it. Now the Killing Gloves unboxing is a melee weapon for Heavy that has about a 20% slower firing speed, but every time you kill someone with it, you have guaranteed crits for 5 seconds. Guaranteed crits. So you can only imagine what kind of chaos could ensue just by killing one player. You punch them to death, then immediately bring out your minigun and do insane amounts of damage. It's like you have a mini crits Krieg at your disposal at all times. Using this weapon is going to completely change some of the ways you play heavy. The Gloves of Running Urgently is another great melee for heavy, since it lets you move to the front of the line quickly. But the Killing Gloves of Boxing is more of a look out I'm going to freaking kill you weapon. It lets you push out in some situations that you normally couldn't, and it lets you be a lot more aggressive if done right. Now from what I've experienced so far, the best situation to use the Killing Gloves of Boxing is in tight corridors or places where you can sneak up on people. Since you're a very slow class, it will be harder to attack someone with your melee and get close, so minimizing the distance you are between other players will help you get the crit kill. One way is to trap players into corners and keep them from running away while you beat them up. You'll just have to keep an eye on your health so you don't take too much damage while you're doing so. Another fantastic way to get a crit kill is to pick on smaller classes. You can kill a full health scout, engineer, sniper, or spy in just two swift punches if you time it right. And if the server has random crits enabled, you might even kill them in one hit. In fact, while I was making this video, I got so many random crits, it was almost hard not to get one. My suggestion is to watch out for spies that might sneak up behind you. If they get close enough and you spot them, they'll be incredibly easy to take out. If the enemy team likes to move around or push a lot, it's also a great idea to try hiding around corners. If they have their back turned, you could get an easy 2 or 3 punches in before they actually do much. Another thing I absolutely love about the Killing Gloves of Boxing is the different secondaries you can pair along with it. Although the sandwich is a very good one to use, I think some of the other weapons are amazing for helping you get crit kills. The Buffalo Steak Sandwich, for example, gives you melee mini crits and lets you run faster when you're under its duration. This means you can do even more damage with the gloves, plus you can run a lot faster, which lets you catch up to enemies. The only downside, of course, is that you can't pull out your primary while using it. So you can either plan your kills near the end of the duration, or you can just chain a bunch of kills with the gloves themselves. My personal favorite to use is the shotgun. The shotgun lets you run at normal speed and still do damage from a short distance. This means you can hurt someone enough to get them at low health, then you can finish them off with a punch of the killing gloves of boxing. Although the minigun is great for doing damage too, it can be really slow if you want to switch back to your gloves. So all in all, you need to be a bit sneakier than you normally would as a heavy. Try to stay out of sight of other players so they won't see you coming, and try to hug walls and corners so you can surprise them with a good punch to the face. If you just run straight out in the open, chances are you're going to die quickly and you won't actually hit anyone. Your slow speed is a disadvantage, but that doesn't mean that you can't get close to them. You just have to get an idea where players might walk, and plan to be aggressive once you get close. And if you get really good at it, you might enjoy Heavy a million times more than you did before. In conclusion, just have an amazing time with this weapon. I've been using this for months, and I haven't equipped a different melee since. Talk just getting the timing down and being a stealthy Heavy, and that can assure you you'll have fun wiping down tons of players within a matter of seconds. Anyways, have a good one everybody, and I will see you all next time.